hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified when i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design a short flyer using photoshop before any further ado let's get started here i'm going to use 4 by 4 inches then you grade the resolution is 300 So these are the two uh, resources I'm going to use in this tutorial. Copy the church name. Control V to paste. Then change the font to Acrobat. You can come back again to copy this test here. Control V to paste. Then apply vertical alignment. Then change that font. Then Ctrl V again to paste. The font name is Apollo. All right. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle here. Apply red color. Select your test tool. Change the font to Acrobat. Make it bold. That is vertical and horizontal alignment. Then change the font color to white. Then copy your test again. Select your test tool, then paste. Change the color to black. And change the font to this font here. I'm going to drop all the fonts in the description. Position it well. Okay. Then apply vertical alignment. Ctrl D to deselect. Then arrange it properly. I think it's okay like this. Then I'm going to copy the dates. 
select your test tool and control V to paste. Change the font color to black and make it bold. Then copy this text here Then duplicate it, Ctrl J Paste it Then scale it out. Now type this letter here. That is for the time. Then copy PM. Then I'm going to duplicate this one. Select it. Then I you paste. Then I'm going to copy this one. Then group this one and group this one. Then use your arrow key to move it up to create a space. Then draw this rent angle, apply red color. Then apply vertical alignment. Then change the font to acrobat. Then make it bold. Then change the font color to white. Then reduce the rent angle. Then come back here to copy this test. And duplicate this one, Ctrl J. Now I'm going to bring this icon
then position it well then bring the icon of time then bring it down over here and position it then ctrl g to group it so rename it then rename the dates increase it a bit also increase this one a little bit Now, bring the location icon Position it over here Now group it Okay, now I'm going to bring this background, then fit it in. Then I'm going to bring this one again, bring it down. Then apply Gaussian Blum. That is 15.3. Then bring this image. Then take it up. Position it this way. It's okay. Now change the color of this test to white, including this one. Change it to white. Now you, what you are going to do next now is to group it, then rename it as your background.
Then bring this light flare. Position it over here. Then apply screen. Select your layer mask. Then you blend over here. Then bring this light and scale it out. Go to your blending option, then use saturation, it's okay. You can see the design over there, how it changed the color over there. I like it like this. Right click. Then select, use your arrow key then to move it up, it's okay. And we are done with this one. So the next thing now, hold your control plus shift plus alt, then press E on the keyboard, then you will see what will happen over there. Now go to filter, then select your camera raw, now adjust the setting numbers you are seeing here, adjust the temperature, the things. The contrast also adjust the shadow so this is how you will adjust them so when you get the test of color you want then you will click OK so the clarity So this is how you can adjust your setting. Thanks for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like and share. I really appreciate. Thanks.